Gashagwa wants to be the president of Kenya. That is the message Kenyans have seen or have received. Remember, Gashagwa now is trying to, you know, alienate himself. He is trying to, you know, disentangle himself from all this mess. And he's, he's actually blaming Ruto, you know, for the mess that is now being seen in Kenya. Remember, President Ruto addressed the nation, but Gashagwa came out and pointed out the mistakes that Ruto did. In fact, forgetting that the duo are are working together because Gashago is the deputy president. But there seems to be a tug of war, a cold war in the executive. And Gashagwa wants to put all the blame on Ruto. And this shows that Gashagwa is Gashago wants to be the president. He wants to fight. Yeah? And probably he's seen that uh, Mount Ruto will not pick him in 2027. So he's trying, he's not, he's fighting early so that when he reaches 2027, he will have the grounds to fight Ruto and he will have the grounds to vie for presidency. That's the obvious thing that's being seen right now because there's no way a deputy president can publicly, you know, point out mistakes that the president has done. It shows that there's wrangles in the executive and it shows that these two people cannot work together again and if, if they will have to face each other. And of course this happened in even in, in Uru's time. Remember Ruto used to be against whatever Uru was doing. Yeah? And of course this worked for him because Kenyans saw him as a hero and that's why Kenyans voted for him. So Gashagwa is trying to follow suit. He's trying to alienate himself from the high cost of living. Is trying to disentangle himself from the high cost of living as a way of gaining sympathy from Kenyans, as a way of facing Ruto in 2027. The question is, will he manage? Of course, if he tries to face Ruto, this will destroy Ruto's plan. Because right now, Ruto is not popular in, in Mount Kenya. He is not popular in Mount Kenya. In fact, Kikuis really don't like Ruto because of the lies and the high cost of, and the high cost of living. So if Gashagwa faces Ruto, it means that Mount Kenya votes will go to Gashagwa. That's the reality. Yeah? Ruto will be left with Rift Valley, which of course can't you know catapult him to status. So that's why that's what I'm saying. Gashagwa knows what he's doing. And of course, um, the duo will have to fight. Because Gashagwa is, is the only formidable opponent that Ruto will be having in 2027. Raila Moldinger, I believe, might not you know, vie again, but that's a story for another day. So Gashagwa wants to be the president of Kenya.